Hi guys, welcome back to Simple Coding Style with Steph. I am so glad to have you back here. Do you know that you can actually add an additional window to the main window? It is called the top level window. We can do that by adding widgets and components to the newly created top level window. And that supports all the properties of the main window or parent window as many developers would call it. Sometimes the top level window is also referred to as the child window. Now to place the child window in front of the parent window like this, we can use a method called WM underscore transient. Before I proceed, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button, like my videos, and as well, click on the notification button to get notified on my latest videos. All right, without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, we have to import the required libraries. So I'm just going to give a comment here for proper understanding. Um, I'm going to import the required libraries. And then that that uh, involves uh, that's the Kinter and the CTK. So I'm going to say from Kinter from Kinter import asterisk and then from Kinter import CTK. And after that I'm going to create an instance of Kinter frame or the window. Okay, so this is the frame of the window that we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to give a comment and say create an instance, okay, of Kinter frame. And that is the roots of this frame. So next is going to be the size. Okay, so I'm going to use a method called geometry. So I'm going to say I'm going to use the root dot geometry. And then I'm going to give an actual size to this frame. Okay. And then the next is to give a color to the window as it's done here. This. Okay, so the next is I'm going to use the root dot config, and then the background color is going to be the color for that is cadet blue, and then I'm just going to give a title to the window. So basically, this. Well, it can be optional for you, but for this purpose, I have to do it because I want us to differentiate between the parent window and the child window in terms of the title. Okay, so next is to create. Now we're done with the parent window. Okay, so let me show you the parent window. I'm going to do that by using our main loop. Okay, so let me run this. First. All right, so our parent window has been created. So next is to create the um, top level window with it, which is the child window. So I'm just going to give this, uh, I'm just going to say create um, top level window or I'm going to say child window. Okay, so now I'm going to start by saying calling the window top level. And this is this is a top level. And it's going to be in my roots. On my roots, rather. And then for this same top level, I'm going to give a size to that. I have to attach a size to the window. So I'm going to say from the, um, this should be the width. And this is 
the height is 350 and then from the x axis is going to be 500 and from the y axis it's going to be 200 basically it's more like centralizing the um the child window okay so now in, on the same top top level window which is the child window it's i'm going to give that a color so basically this color is going to help us to differentiate the both of them and for this i'm going to give a floral white for this which is what i use for the main one and then i'm going to give a title to this as well okay so you know the purpose of using this title is basically to differentiate the both of them so we can know the difference in the parent window and the child window so i'm going to call this child window so after that now place this to place this um child window on the um parent window we will have to use of you know, like i said before we'll make use of a method called the wm underscore transient okay so that's what i'm going to make use of so let me just give a comment here for proper understanding so i'm going to say place the top level window um so this is going to be so this is just going to place the top window and then i'm going to say going to attach that to this top level i'm going to say top level wm underscore transient there it is over there and then i'm going to use the name of the window that i've created okay so that's just basically it for all of this i have done that so now i'm going to run this for us to see this okay there it is you know initially we created this parent window and now the child window has been attached to the parent window okay so that is just it as that as that first you just have to create a parent window and then start with a top level window and attach the um root to the top level and this is going to give you this result here so now you can do whatever you want to do on this okay all right, so that is it for it. So please, if you enjoyed my video, please do not forget to like and give a comment as well. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.